Assalamu alaikum and good day everyone. This video consists of three parts. In the first part, we will be talking about the background, staff and ambience of the company. In the second part, we will be talking about the service blueprint of the company. And last but not least, we will be talking about the seven P's of the company in the third part. Before we proceed to the presentation, allow us to introduce ourselves. We are a team from the presentation of AirAsia Berhad Airline, which are made up of five people, Muhammad Sufi bin Kamal, Muhammad Hazim bin Roslan, Muhammad Izani bin Razali, Hayriah binti Yusof, and Marilyn Panti Anak Nabau. We begin by looking at the background of AirAsia. AirAsia Berhad Airline was found in 1993 and began its operation in 1996. Later, in 2001, AirAsia Berhad Airline was bought by Tune Air Sundian Berhad, a company owned by Tony Fernandez. AirAsia is the most prominent travel and financial platform in the area, providing air travel, travel and leisure products, and financial services. AirAsia began as a low-cost, no-frills airline in the Southeast Asia and India and has since transported more than 600 million passengers to more than 160 destinations across Asia, Australia, the Middle East and the United States. When talking about AirAsia, the first thing that comes to people's mind is the slogan, Now Everyone Can Fly. Staff of AirAsia Adaptability and flexibility are in today's game environment as individuals multitask between jobs, yet barely have enough time for personal time. AirAsia employees are viewed as members of a large family and treated equally. This illustrates the empowerment of employees. AirAsia will host a monthly employees meeting to discuss any issues arise as well as helping them to cope with the stress of their jobs. A perfect example of work flexibility is when AirAsia employees are able to accomplish several jobs within a flat organizational structure. They are eligible to rotate jobs after one month of service. This gives the employees the opportunity to gain more experience. AirAsia's reward scheme works that a small number of employees will be rewarded free travel to other countries if they do well at work. This rewarding scheme is to increase the urge of the employees to put greater effort in their jobs. Moving on to the ambience of AirAsia. The AirAsia X Quiet Zone is a brand new service that began its operation in February 2012. This denotes that the front portion of the plane is a child-free zone which means minimum noise and no interruptions. This zone is only eligible to young adults from age 12 years old and above. A pre-flight meal service is available at every flight destination. The quiet zone cabin section has a bright, airy environment with low lighting for a more relaxing experience. This is a game changer in the airline industry for regular customers. We have come to the main purpose of the video. The service blueprinting of AirAsia Berhad Airlines enables the company to understand the processes involved in delivering services to the customer. Scene 1. The scene starts with the customer searching up information regarding flight on the internet before proceeding in making a booking. The customer's first impression is formed through the physical evidence of the website such as the findability, accessibility. The support system for this scene is the Asia booking system that assists customers booking. Scene 2. In this scene, the passengers arrival at the airport. Upon arrival, the passengers impression is formed through the physical evidence of the airport that they see notably. For instance, 
the airport building exterior and infrastructure, the parking facility, as well as the luggage carts. The next scene involved the passenger proceeding in consulting monitors to determine which check-in stations to go. The physical evidence that they see around is the self-kiosk check-in machines, check-in desks managed by the staff, as well as the paperwork being done. The first interaction marked by the line of interaction takes place between the passenger and the on-stage employee that is the staff working behind the check-in desk as they process the check-in and hands out boarding pass to the passenger. The off-stage employee that is the staff in charge on bringing the luggage to the plane. This activity is not visible to the passenger. The support system of this scene comprises the registration system. In this scene, a possible waiting of check-in luggage might occur. The waiting time can be extended especially during peak time such as holiday seasons. It can also be due to technical problems or passengers bringing prohibited items into the hall. Scene 4. In this scene, the passenger goes through immigration customs check. The physical evidence can be seen from this scene is the boarding pass, passport and immigration customs check. The on-stage employee, that is the immigration officer, greets the passenger and processes the boarding pass passport before allowing the passenger to enter the departure hall. The support system in this scene is the immigration system that helps the immigration customs check to go smoothly. Scene 5. This scene involves the passenger waiting at the boarding lounge while waiting for the aircraft to finish its taxing. The physical evidence includes the interior design of the departure hall and amenities provided at the hall. For instance, amenities provided such as comfortable seats, a flight information display LCD board to display flight information to passengers, toilets, etc. The on-stage employee, that is the staff working at the departure hall, making flight announcement to alert passengers, as well as waiting for instructions from airport crews to board passengers. In this scene, a possible waiting might happen, that is delayed flight. Hello. How are you? I'm tired. How are you? Yeah. Wishing you were in Aruba. Oh, here you go. <laughs> Which one do I go in? That one? Okay, thank you. <laughs> scene 6. Next scene involves the passenger heading to the aircraft. The physical evidence comprises travel letter hallways, the aircraft, as well as the flight attendant's appearance. The interaction takes place between the passenger and the flight attendant as they greet the passenger. This scene involves the passenger giving baggage to the flight attendant and proceeds to sit on the assigned seat. The physical evidence involved in this scene is the aircraft interior, overhead compartment and seats. The on-stage interaction takes place when the flight attendant helps to find a signed seat for the passenger and store the baggage in the overhead compartment. Scene 8. In the next scene, the passenger proceeding to listen to the pre-flight briefing and fasten seatbelt before the aircraft takes off. The physical evidence that can be observed in this scene is the pre-flight briefing demonstration, seat belts, life jackets, as well as magazines and catalogs provided in the pocket behind each seat. 
the on-stage employee, that is flight attendant, conduct the pre-flight safety briefing. This scene involves the passenger selecting meal and entertainment offered in the aircraft. The physical evidence includes the variety of entertainment available, the style of the aircraft menu, along with the food variety. The on-stage employee, that is the flight attendant on board, takes the passenger's order and passes to the backstage employee, that is another flight attendant, in charge of the aircraft kitchen. The support system here is the preparation of food done by the flight attendant who enable the timely delivery of food. However, a possible failure of food taste not up to the passenger's expectation might happen in this scene. Scene 10. This scene starts with the on-stage employee, that is the flight attendant serving the passenger. The customer action here is that the passenger receives and consumes the food. The presentation of food, the aroma, the taste and the quality of food constitute the physical evidence at this stage. A possible waiting due to the extended time of food preparation might happen at this stage. The scene moves to the thing the passenger might do next, that is, using the lavatory in the aircraft. The physical evidence includes the interior and the hygiene of the lavatory and the amenities provided such as tissue paper, hand soap and hair dryer. Scene 12 is when the passenger unfastens their seatbelt and proceeds to retrieve baggage from the overhead compartment before leaving the aircraft. The physical evidence at this stage includes the seatbelt sign come to off mode as well as the destination airport exterior that can be seen through the window. The on-stage employee, that is the flight attendant, helps the passenger in retrieving their baggage and guides them out of the aircraft as well as bidding them a goodbye and good stay at the destination. The off-stage employee brings the luggage out of the plane. A possible waiting to collect the baggage might happen due to the traffic inside the aircraft and a possible failure of missing and damaged luggage might happen at this stage. The next scene involves the passenger collecting their luggage at the baggage clamp area. The physical evidence at this stage is the luggage travelling on the belt conveyors. The last scene is when the passenger goes through one final immigration custom check at the destination airport. The physical evidence includes the travel letter, the immigration counter as well as the destination airport interior. The scene ends when the on-stage employee, that is the immigration officer, processes the immigration and clear the passenger to enter the city or country. The support system in this scene is the immigration system that enables the immigration custom checks to go smoothly. Moving on to 7 pieces of AirAsia Berhad Airline. The first one is product. AirAsia is widely considered as one of the most cost-effective airline businesses on the market. It is a global airline that began operations in Malaysia and has seen expanded globally. The key offering of this company is the low-cost services it gives to its customers. The moderate product is the company's main product and it is part of its marketing mix method. The primary purpose of AirAsia is to give customers flexibility by providing great services at the lowest possible cost. The next one is price. AirAsia is well known for its low cost, no frills policy. The company uses an underpinning fee structure in which it charges a cheap cost for both its operation and airfares, resulting customers are more inclined to choose AirAsia over competing carriers. The third one is Place. AirAsia offers a wide variety of services because it is distributed throughout 25 countries and more than 160 locations. In its travels, 
This firm offers both domestic and international destinations. Reputable methods such as online flight bookings, exclusive booking, and representative offices, as well as authorized agent, make up the economic routes for the ticket prices. Next is promotion. In the airline sector, AirAsia has positioned itself as a formidable rival. One of the company's most popular promotions is the Big Loyalty Program, in which favoured clients earn a large number of points for each transaction and can exchange those points for a complimentary flight ticket. This business also focuses on offering accessibility-based promos in which customers are notified about new products or services via straightforward promotional channels like email. Customers are provided low-cost airfare in the part of promotional packages based on demand. AirAsia also promotes the brand on social media, in magazine commercials, as well as through creative billboard advertising. The fifth P is people. The company offers a range of services to its staff, including coaching and inspirational presentation. In order to preserve their status, it is critical to select the correct group of individuals for the company. AirAsia keep its brain image by hiring the proper people for the job based on their skills. The sixth P is process. AirAsia has a skilled and passionate customer service team that is devoted to handling customer issues as quickly as possible. Customer satisfaction demonstrated that part of the process included details about the itinerary and destinations on the AirAsia webpage, availability of flight schedules, quick check-in, departure and arrival on time with prone baggage handling. And last but not least, physical evidence. The methods in which the corporation can sustain its competitive advantage are referred to as physical evidence. It is critical for them to promote the AirAsia trademark to instill the brand image in consumers' mind. Consumers can gain experience from the compartment in the plane and how their crew exhibit the crisis device, cockpit cleanliness, seat position, and passenger seat convenience correspondingly. The corporation's brain is maintained through ensuring superior outside airline servicing, as well as interior couches and attire. AirAsia's trademark colors are red and white, which reflect perseverance, enthusiasm, excellence and positivism in giving exceptional services at reasonable prices to consumers.